this Discord bot that you're going to build can effectively do anything from, hey, give me five coding project ideas to what is reduced in JavaScript and how do I use it to give me five gift ideas I could get for my girlfriend. This thing can handle it all. I hope you're excited. Let's just start building it up right now. Now, if you want to build this app alongside me, click the link in the description below. It'll allow you to create a new REPL. And then from there, you can go ahead and fork the REPL I have there for you. And it's going to be a blank project. And from there, you can go ahead and start coding this bad boy up. All right. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now we're going to go ahead and hit create. We're going to create a Node.js REPL. And I'm just going to call it chat GPT discord bot. Now make sure that you use my replit link in the description below in order to be able to go here and make your own replit for free. All right, now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on packages and we're going to install the discord package. So just go ahead and install the discord package. Replit also makes it really easy to be able to install any packages. Makes it really simple. Now I'm going to go to my discord and I'm going to create my own server here. So that's going to be step two. Go ahead and hit create. Okay, now I'm going to simply create a brand new. Let's go ahead here and I'm going to go to a new application. OK, just make sure you're on discord.com slash developer slash applications. Now I'm going to create a new application. We'll call it chat GPT. We're going to agree to the terms of services here. Now, what we need from here is let's go ahead and go to OAuth 2. I'm going to create a custom URL here. We're going to call it discord.com slash API slash OAuth 2 slash authorize question mark permissions and scope is going to be bought in the client ID. We're just going to copy paste the client ID from the top. OK, so client ID is right over here. OK, now we're going to go and click add bot and we'll say yes, do it. Let's go ahead and give it a photo. So we're going to give it this little nice AI photo. OK, message content intent. And let's go ahead and say let's go back to our OAuth 2 custom URL. Let's copy it and let's go paste it and let's see what happens here. Boom, it's saying an external application chat GPT wants access to your discord. So go ahead and say chat GPT, add it to the server, continue and then go ahead and authorize. So it adds it to your discord server. Now at this point, it's authorized and it should be added to your discord. OK. How you know is it saying it at the top right to add it to your Discord. Okay. Now let's go to openai.com. Let's click open and let's go to their API. We're going to go ahead and sign up or sign in. You could continue with Google or just pop in your email and password. Go to view API keys and let's go ahead and create a new secret key. So copy that secret key that you just created. And when you go look at the usage, you could see that you got a you got $18 granted by them for free. So once you get up to the $18, obviously you're going to have to start paying, but $18 you get for free. Okay. So you should be good for up to that usage. So let's go to API keys and let's go back to our replit. Let's go to secrets and let's paste in our key in the secrets. Okay. So open API key. That's what we're going to call it. And for the secret, make sure to paste the secret that you had copied. Okay. The SK at the start represents secret key. All right. And at the bottom, it should be stored there. So Replit is also really good for handling and storing your secrets. This is normally a pain and you have to add it to your git ignore and do all this crap. With If you add it to Replit, you don't have to worry about any of that. Now we're going to add our discord key and go back to your discord developer applications. Go back to the bot. And then go ahead and reset your bot's token and it's going to give you this token. So copy that token and paste that in. OK, so now you got your API key and you got your Discord key. Now you need to have OpenAI org. So go ahead, click on settings and that's your organization ID. So copy that and go ahead and add that in. Beautiful. So now you should have Discord key, OpenAI org and open API key. Those are the three that you should have here. OK, now in our index, we're going to add the my secret key. So go ahead and add that in. So process.env automatically has access to all your environment variables. So that's what we're doing right now. We're adding all the keys and environment variables. Let's just change the variable names here. So open API key will also have discord key and then we'll also have open AI org. So we got all of those. All right, now we're going to go ahead and create a client and a gateway intent. 
Okay, and now we're going to be actually setting up our Discord messages on our back end. So this is, we're already on step four. So step four out of six are already completed. So we're very close to getting this app up and running. All right, so for our intents, we're going to go ahead and create an array of intents. And in there, we're going to have a gateway intent for bits and guilds. We're going to get access to guild messages. Okay, let's also get message content. And then... On message create, let's have the following happen. So we're gonna add a try catch block. And then in a try catch block, I'm gonna basically say, hey, if the message's author exists, then return. This will essentially prevent infinite loops. So this is an important one to add. And then we'll just print out the message. Okay, so print out the message's content. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say for client login, pass in the Discord key. Let's run this and let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Discord. Let's see if anything is happening. On the top right, you can actually see Chad GPT is online right now, which is a good sign. Testing, let's try this. Let's go back and boom, look at that. We wrote testing in our Discord app and it just popped up right over here. So that is a very good sign. That thing, that looks like things are working. All right, so now we're gonna set up our open, AP, open AI. Okay, so now we're already on step five of six. So we're very close to finishing this thing. Let's require open AI. And then we're gonna create a configuration for this. Okay, and we're gonna say for organization, we're gonna pass in our open AI org. We're gonna pass in our open API key. Okay, and let's go ahead and look at the examples. So at beta.openai.com slash examples, you can see a ton of examples that people have already built and you could look at it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and copy that text and we're gonna paste it right here. Okay, there we go. All right, now that we've got this, now let's change the prompt. So basically all we've added here is this part right here which says this right so you could even type it out manually if you wanted to so for prompt we have message content and now we'll add in a message reply here and we're going to basically say hey from response get the initial choice get the zero choice and then grab the text from that so let's run this and let's go back to our discord bot so i'm going to say give me five project ideas and let's see, boom, there we go. So you can see that we're already at this point finished with the app. So this is absolutely crazy. We were able to build this app in about 40 lines of code and you had your very own chat GPT that you had built using Discord and you create your own bot. And now if you can ask it things like, hey, give me five project ideas, or you can ask it a couple of other things, like you can ask it questions, it'll answer them to you. And at this point, you should have your very own working bot. I'm absolutely mind blown. If you wanna get access to the app that we just built, click the link below. And I have the app completely made in Replit. It's completely free. Just go ahead and fork it. And once you're done forking, all you need to do is add your own API keys. So you need to add your OpenAI or key, your OpenAI key, and you need to add your Discord key. Once you add those three keys, you're effectively done. I hope you enjoyed the video.